Welcome to another edition of Congregation Akrus Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. This week, I'd like us to look at one of the great rabbinic leaders of 20th century American Jewry, known for his scholarship, his activism, as well as his colorful sense of humor. His name was Rabbi Eliezer Silver. This week, in 1882, Eliezer Silver was born in the town of Obele in northeastern Lithuania. In his younger years, he studied under some of the great rabbis of the time, Rabbi Yosef Rosen, known as the Rugachev or Gaon, whom you can see on your left. And later, he received his rabbinic ordination from Rabbi Chaim Ozer Grudzinski, who would later become the head of the rabbinical court of Vilna and the foremost Jewish legal authority of his time. You can see a picture of him on your right. Rabbi Silver immigrated to America in 1907 and first came to New York City. At first he was not able to procure a rabbinic job, and so he worked in the garment and, and insurance businesses. But in the same year, 1907, Rabbi Silver what, succeeded in procuring a rabbinic job and became rabbi of Congregation Kesher Israel of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. On your screens, you see the old building of Kesher Israel. During his time in the United States, Rabbi Silver also held positions in Springfield, Massachusetts and Cincinnati, Ohio, in which he united the Orthodox congregations of the city. Cincinnati would prove to be his most prominent and longest held position. Rabbi Silver's history of activism spanned the number of organizations and causes. He was the president of the Aguda Sarabanim, an important rabbinic organization at the time, primarily led by European-born rabbis who had come to the United States. In this picture, Rabbi Silver is seen at the head of the table in his typical top hat. In 1912, Rabbi Silver met with President Taft, attempting to convince him to provide help for the oppressed Jews of Russia. And during the Second World War, Rabbi Silver was instrumental in starting the Vad Hatzalah, which was an organization dedicated to saving as many of Europe's Jews as it possibly could. The organization was active in securing documentation, sometimes legitimate and sometimes not, that enabled thousands of Europe's Jews to escape the Nazi horrors. The organization also made attempts to secure assistance from the American administration on behalf of European Jewry. Here you see a picture of the famous Rabbi's March on Washington, which took place in 1943, a few days before Yom Kippur, with Rabbi Silver again at the head of the crowd. Their objective was to protest and to meet high-level administration officials, but unfortunately, they were not successful. The Vad Hatzalah worked after the war to help Jews in displaced persons camps find their, way, their ways to new homes. They also took care of the religious needs of, the, needs of those in the DP camps. On the right, you see a volume of the Talmud that was printed by the Vad Hatzalah in Germany for survivors of the war. Rabbi Silver spent significant time in Europe after the war, searching for Jewish children who had been hidden hidden in monasteries and convents all over Europe. He also searched for and retrieved thousands of Jews who were trapped behind the Iron Curtain. Rabbi Silver's long and active career came to an end in 1968 when he passed away. He was buried in his hometown of Cincinnati and with his death, American Jewry lost one of its most, most storied rabbinic leaders. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day.